Hey guys, out of the pit on a beautiful spring day in Southern Ohio, about 68 degrees outside, sunny. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. Back in last spring, we bought a quarter of a steer and have had it processed. We picked it up, didn't get it until November, but this is a brisket off of the steer we bought. It's maybe two and a half pounds. It's not very big, but I'm gonna try to cook it hot and fast today. Never done a hot and fast brisket. Uh, so give me just a second. I'm gonna open it up. It's was uh, vacuum packed. It's been in the freezer. So let me open it up. We'll season it up, put it on the pit. Okay, here you see we've got the brisket opened up. It's trimmed up very nicely. It's not very big. Some fat cap on the back. I'm just gonna leave that there. There's, no, there's not that much fat there. So I'm gonna season it up. This is my own mixture of salt, pepper, and garlic. Some onion powder in there. Here. All right, that's seasoned up pretty well. I'll hit the end when I get it in the pit. The grill's at 210 right now. But I'm going to cook at 350. We're going to see. I've watched a couple of videos. I don't think it'll take but maybe just a couple of hours at 350. So I'll be back with you in a second. All right, here we go. Brisket's on the pit. I do have my smoke tube rolling just for some added kick there since it's going to be a short smoke. I wanted to add a little bit to that. Got mesquite pellets in the hopper, and uh, I'm gonna put a probe in it and just let it go. We'll check on it in about an hour and see how it's going. Okay, it's been about an hour. Open it up. Give it a spritz here. Just using water. Internal temperature is about 115 right now. It's rolling at 350 degrees. Going to close it up and give it another hour or so. We'll check back with you. Okay, we've hit 165. We're going to pull it and wrap it. And get it back on the pit. Okay, well. It got up to 205 really quick, so I didn't get a video pulling it off, but I rested it for about an hour and 20 minutes now in the cooler. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to slice it up here and we'll show you the final product. There we go, final product. It tastes really good. It cooked about two hours and 45 minutes. Obviously it's not that big of a piece of meat, but I mean, hey, it tastes like brisket. Looks like brisket, smells like brisket. I'll take it.